So we all know the media hasn't been covering Bernie Sanders with any, with even close to kind of parody uh, as they have been with other candidates, um, especially Donald Trump. Everybody seems to be really caught up in the Donald Trump whirlwind. Even the mainstream reporters like Chris Saliza, who I like, Chris Saliza in general, uh, mm-hmm. uh, right? He's, uh, but here, so Donald Trump had a rally in Lowell, Massachusetts uh, just the other day. And here is the headline in Chris Saliza's article was the crowd shot from Donald Trump's Massachusetts rally is absolutely mind-boggling. And he had a, t- a picture from it, right? right. And the mm-hmm. picture shows a full stadium of people, and the headline couldn't be bigger. This, this crowd shot from Donald Trump's Massachusetts rally is absolutely mind-boggling. And inside of his story, he went on to say, the building holds 8,000 people, and local officials are estimating that it was filled to capacity or beyond that that mm-hmm. is a massive amount of people he puts massive in bowl in uh, all caps that is uh, a mass wow. he said, I, I bet bernie i bet bernie never could draw a crowd like that i ah. were hey, hey god he says <laughs> that is a massive amount of people especially considering that the high temperature in lowell yesterday was 29 degrees and trump's rally didn't start until the evening wow Ooh. hey i got news for you uh it's massachusetts they're used to cold weather they do things <laughs> all yeah. the time they go they go out to boston celtics games they go out to bruins games they sit and they they watch the um, the New England Patriots in the snow. So they go outside all the time. They're uh, used to Jimmy, it. Jimmy, I, I can tell you from living in Minnesota, a place where it's when it's below zero, if you go out at night, the restaurants are packed. The bars are packed. Yes. People are used to going out in the cold. They don't like it, but they, they're used to it and they do it. I, I'm from Chicago. You know, we we go yeah. out. We used to go outside we, uh, and to watch Bears games. We would sit, literally, uh-huh. sit on ice to watch a bad team. <laughs> <laughs> so they're making a big deal. So Chris <laughs> Liz is making a big deal out of this. Uh, right. But guess what? Three months ago, in that same general area, Bernie Sanders did also had a rally, and uh, let's see. Sanders addressed a near capacity crowd of 20,000 at the Boston Convention and Exhibition Center with a few thousand more watching a feed of his address while on the uh, lawn. Hoping well, what's, new, what's, what's newsworthy about that? 20,000 is not 8,000. Right, it's not. So, so Donald Trump had about 60% less people. And they're going crazy. Uh, That's the headline. That's look at this picture. Three mm-hmm. months earlier, twenty thousand people, twenty thousand people, and uh, at, it said hoping to secure a good spot at the event. People formed a line that stretched half a mile down Summer Street, nearly reaching South Station two hours before the event began. So it's just mm. more proof that you know there. I can't get over. I mean, we joke about it, but this is kind of egregious, right? Donald Trump, it is, the guy who's because getting- Donald Donald Trump is 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 attracting a majority of a minority of people. He's he's being portrayed. Uh, he, he's being completely hyped up on cable news um, as as a phenomenon that everyone in the country is enamored with, where it's really just. You know, like the Republicans are 30 percent of the country and he has like 20 percent of that, you know. So the the media is just so enamored of Trump. It's kind of like he's the highest rated show on Fox News. Yeah. That's what mm-hmm. that's kind of saying. Yeah, that's yeah. what and that's. They both, and by the way, just tonight, uh, the Chris Hayes show and the Chris Matthews show both opened with. Donald Trump uh, doing the whole thing about Ted Cruz's Canadian birth, um, and it's a really stupid thing. And but it's not stupid anymore when they treat it as the biggest story in the country. Yes, the most important thing in the country right now. Every stupid thing that Donald Trump says is treated as major news, and that's not just 
Trump. That's the media being in collaboration with him. So, I mean, he learned early on in his career. He's a carnival barker. Now we yeah. say that, but that's literally he learned early in his career. You say something outrageous when people start uh-huh. fact checking. You say something more outrageous that they skip. They over. They've done. He's he's been doing this like clockwork, and it mm-hmm. and, and and the and the press continues to cover him. Like the fact that MSNBC leads off their show tonight with that BS story, that we, yeah. we all right now. You and I, Frank. We can both predict how this is going to turn out, right? Ted Cruz is an American citizen. We know this. Uh-huh. It's like the birther thing. We know this is all just made right. up. We're, it's been, this is Benghazi. And it's, uh, yeah, and it's the same. And, you know, I, I, I hate Ted Cruz, I think, is just as awful as Donald Trump. But yes. I do think that it's wrong for this bullshit story to be hyped up. Just the same way the story about Obama's birth was hyped up. Well, you know, especially you know, it, it gets way more attention than it deserves. I, I, I couldn't agree with you more, Frank. Uh, it's a and sa- also I don't know if you saw Meet the Press the other day, but uh, uh, Chuck Todd did a whole segment where he said um, any uh, Republican who criticizes uh, Trump. Um, or he did a whole thing about here's a series of Republican candidates who criticized Trump and they're no longer in the race anymore. And he had them, you know, um, Bobby Jindal, uh, Rick Perry, uh, Lindsey you know, Graham, Lindsey Graham or whatever, Scott Walker, saying, some, saying something about Donald Trump that was absolutely true about how awful he is. And then Meet the Press played a game show buzzer noise, like, ah. In other words, what they were saying was true. And then NBC was playing the buzzer noise on game shows that you play when someone is wrong. And it was like a, it was like a commercial for Donald Trump. Uh, well, you know what? There's actual footage of Donald Trump saying it's a non-issue. Ted Cruz is a citizen. Yeah, he did. Well, there's this there's footage of everything Trump says, like the Clinton stuff. There's footage of him saying the opposite, but that doesn't really matter to the media. No, it doesn't really matter. Wow. This is, uh, I didn't think MSNBC, I, well, they just hired a, uh, a Fox News guy to run the Joe, Morning Joe show. Did you see that, Frank? Yeah, I saw that, but you know what? That's to me, that's non news because Morning Joe is already so much like Fox. It's not as if this guy is going to come in and do a makeover of it. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. it, it's going to be the exact same show. Yeah. It doesn't need to be Foxified, it already is. 